Hey, what's up guys? My name is Faison and in this video, I'll be going over how you can make your Science Olympiad right stuff plane circle in two different directions. If you're new to the channel, I post videos on Science Olympiad building events every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So if any of that interests you, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be updated every single time I post a new video. But with that said, let's get right into the video. All right, so the main question is, why would you even want to make your plane travel in two directions? Isn't the point of right stuff to have your plane or to perfect your plane in one direction and then do perform your best at your competition using that one direction? Well, yes, that is the original idea around right stuff, but the Science Olympiad Committee has added a new rule to Science Olympiad, or not, not rule, but a bonus to Science Olympiad right stuff for at least the 2019 to 2020 season, where they sort of said, if you made your plane travel in a clockwise direction in your first official flight, and a counterclockwise uh, rotation in a, in your second official flight, then your score will be the combination of those two scores. So in effect, you're basically having two flight times as your official flight time instead of the usual one. But doing this is not as easy as it sounds. In fact, there's a lot that you have to consider and keep consistent if you want to be able to do that effectively. But in this video, I'm only going to be focusing on the core concepts that will let you travel your plane in both directions. If you want to understand how to make your plane travel in both directions, then you have to understand one key concept, and that is the influence of your horizontal and vertical stabilizers. Now, if you've ever built or seen a horizontal or vertical stabilizer, then I'm 100% sure you've seen some type of horizontal and vertical stabilizer. The horizontal stabilizer is like a mini wing. Now, the size of the horizontal stabilizer is going to be dependent on the rules of the event of right stuff for that year, but usually it's a lot smaller in size than the, than the main wing. And it's usually right next to the vertical stabilizer, which is sort of a fin or rudder that allows you to it allows you to change the tightness of your circle. Now you can change the tightness of your circle like I just mentioned by changing the angle that your rudder is at and the farther away your rudder is angled from straight the more turn your airplane is going to have and you can do you can do make some modifications to your horizontal stabilizer to achieve similar effects but in this video we will be focusing on the rudder and the key concept you have to understand is that changing the angle of the rudder away from the from its straight or zero position is going to affect the way your plane circles so here i have this rudder it's broken yeah but it'll still help us demonstrate this sort of concept so right now the straight position is right here so right now this rudder is pretty much straight it's a little bit offset to my side but if i angle this rudder away from this i'll point it here it's a little bit easier so right now i'm holding this straight and you can see this rudder is pushing a little bit out here so right now if i put this on my plane my plane would have a tendency to turn this way. It would turn it would turn in the direction the rudder is pointing. So the rudder is shooting this way, so it's shooting inward this way. So my plane will be turning this way. It will be turning in the direction that your rudder is pointing. And the opposite is true if I put it in the other way. If I if the rudder was pushing out this way, so instead of pushing out this way, if the rudder was pushing out this way, the plane would travel in this sort of direction. So that's what I'm trying to get you to understand. If you are able to change the way that your rudder is angled in between flights, then you should be able to make your plane travel in both directions. Now the key or the hard part about this is, like I mentioned earlier, consistency. Anyone can make your can make the can change a rudder easily 
on the spot. But the true task is getting that rudder in these right spots consistently between flights. Because if there's even a small, adjust, a small difference in the way you set up your rudder, then there's going to be, then the flight of your plane is going to be a lot worse. So in short, if you want to change or you want to make your plane travel in two different directions, you need to find a way to change the angle that your rudder is at and be able to do it consistently. Now, I really liked what the Freedom Flight models did. They had this sort of protractor-like attachment at the back of your plane, and then you could just pin your rudder onto that to change its position pretty accurately. You could mark where you wanted to put it and then use a uh, sort of a pin to stick it on there and then remove it in between the flights. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button, drop any questions, feedback, or video ideas down in the comments below. But if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel because I post new videos about Science Olympiad building events every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. But with that said, I'll catch you guys next time. Stay unfazed.